Word. What's this photo you got to tweet? Uh, I got to tweet the photo of, uh, of that, uh, that big stained glass bay window over there. Oh, yeah. It's pretty swank looking. Hello, we're hanging out in this room with, uh, with great grandeur. It's some kind of uh, temple or something. I don't know. What do you think it is we're sitting in? It's a, it's a great hall. It is a hall that is great indeed. I've got my friend Justin Kojic here from 49 Pixels. Say hello. Hello. So, uh, yeah, we just came to uh, hang out a little bit and find out what uh, 49 Pixels is all about. Well, to give you the, uh, the lowdown on what 49 Pixels is, it's a research study of the Canadian digital media economy. And what, uh, what we're looking to do is find out a couple of things. Uh, try to understand the size and scope of our industry. Uh, the, big, uh, the big question is, is, how big is our industry? Well, no one really knows. I mean, it's, it's, I hypothe hypothesize that it's pretty big, but you know, I, I'm really interested in putting some, some real numbers and some real data around how many companies are operating in this space and uh, as well how big the workforce is. What is so fascinating and interesting about that to you? Well, that, and that's a great question. Uh, we have this talented community of folks that, that, are, that are really, that really love technology and understand technology. I, I love that, uh, that our community can be engaged to work with municipal government to solve some of these, uh, you know, solve some of society's oldest problems. We're conducting original research. We'll be spending the next uh, eight months or so uh, doing a series of surveys and polls and uh, reaching out to community members uh, all across Canada to, uh, to help us answer that question of just how big our uh, industry is. We're talking here about 49 pixels. We're not only looking to measure the size of the industry, but we're also looking to understand things like the needs and trends of the buyers of digital media services. I mean, it's, it's great to quantify and qualify our industry, but uh, taking those insights and then putting that onto the client side and trying to understand uh, things like uh, how big are their marketing budgets, have they increased or decreased since last year, what's the percentage of in-sourced versus is outsourced. So taking a lot of that data uh, from the client side of things and putting that back towards the agency side and saying this is what we found about the people that are acquiring or procuring digital media services. Here's what their behavior looks like. Digital media in and of itself is not going to solve anybody's, like you said, real world age old problems. Um, so do you think that uh, Biz, uh, sorry, do you think that the digital space is going to be able to cooperate with governments to get that stuff done? Or do you think that people involved in digital are going to need to start businesses to get that stuff done? I think it's a little bit of both because I mean, you know, we have we have these great tools like Twitter, um, where we're able to we're able to see exactly what uh, what the mayoral candidates in this municipal election are up to. We're able to see where they're going and who they're talking to, and they're they're using uh, all these these great services like TwitPic to vote to post the photos of you know people that they're meeting and so on and so forth. I think there's an opportunity for people to be able to use digital media to interface with government. I believe that government needs to be more open to, to using social media to engage with citizens and build relationships and have meaningful conversations that create some sort of change, whether it's at the municipal level or at the federal level. I don't know if you know, but both Prince and John Mellencamp have recently declared that the internet is dead. What do you have to say about that? Bollocks. Now we are in Toronto, uh, that's where you and I live and, and work out of, and here in Toronto the agencies have got a little thing called the Agency Ball. Can you update, what do you know about that? Uh, I know it's uh, a bunch of agency folks playing basketball and they uh, live stream it over Ustream, which is kind of cool. Right. Are you up to date on the standings? I am not. Sadly, I, uh, I have been out of the loop in terms of agency ball. So in terms of the internet space, when it comes to the sports report, you're not the guy. I am not the guy. Guys like uh, like Brad Ross at the TTC, they've been using Twitter in some really interesting ways, uh, not just to put out service notices for what's going on with the TTC, but actually engaging with TTC customers and saying, you know, hey, listen, I'm sorry to hear about you know about what happened. How do we make it better? And that's really what uh, what what social media should be used for is solving a problem. Cool. Now this this girl that's over your shoulder, or right right over here. Do you think she uses social media? I don't know. Should we ask her? Maybe. Yeah, let's go ambush her. She's got a she's got an iPhone. Should we yeah, yeah. should we go ask her? Yeah, let's go ask let's her. Let's go ask her. Cool. Let's do this live. Hello there. Sorry to disturb you. We were just doing a little documentary film over here about social media, and we noticed you got an iPhone over here. Yeah. And so we were wondering if you could tell us if you are a social media user. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what do you what do you use in social media? Um. Well, I don't. I guess that includes like networking, like Facebook and stuff. Are you, do you use Twitter? No. No. Okay. I'm only Facebook and email. 
Cool. Somebody oh. that doesn't use Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I know. And what do you mostly use it for? Do you use it like uh, just keeping friends and such stuff, or yeah. do you like business at all? No, really, just to keep in touch with friends and. Um, Sometimes phones break down, and <laughs> Facebook is the best way to stay in touch. True. It's true, true. indeed. It okay. Are, are you a university student? No. Are you just hanging out at the university for, for the scenery? Uh, I'm just waiting for my French head meeting. Oh, cool, right <laughs> on. So there we go. That's like, you know, your typical, uh, here's your typical social media user today. So there you go. That's, that's the state of social media today. Excellent. Is it in good hands? Uh, I think we're in good hands, as long nice. as we don't have to rely on the Jersey Shore generation. <laughs> Do you have any other uh, last inspirational nuggets for the children? Uh, I've, uh, I recently had a chat with, uh, with uh, Satish, Satish Kanwar, and I, I apologize if I butcher your name, uh, from Jet Cooper, a fantastic design agency here in Toronto, uh, famous for the, uh, most recently, the TEDx Toronto site. Yes. It's quite, a, quite a, uh, a digital piece of art, I must say. Um, I had a chat with him uh, recently and I forgot to, uh, I wanted to impart some wisdom uh, that, uh, that at the time I, I, I couldn't get to. But um, for, uh, for the folks at Jack Cooper and all the other agency folks out there, uh, a small piece of advice uh, for you, and I know it's unsolicited, but agencies are in the delivery, uh, are in the uh, business of delivering value. So my advice to all those startups out there, especially the Jet Coopers of the world, uh, deliver value, but also deliver exceptional value so that your clients will never have a business case to leave you. And that's what I'd like to leave everybody with today. I think those are wise words. 